How do we overcome the fear of getting started? It's a big one. Come a little closer because today we're going to have a one on one. I know that for many of us, there has been times where we've wanted to start something, whether it's a new job, whether it's a new hobby, whether it's starting to travel, whether it's to undertake something that we have not yet undertaken or we haven't undertaken in the past. But for a lot of those times, doubt seeps in and we start to question everything and we have this idea of wanting to start, but it actually never happens. The thing about us as humans is that we oftentimes get scared whenever we're presented with something new or foreign or whenever we're thinking of doing something out of our comfort zones this usually happens because of this thing called fear listen before i started this youtube channel i was so scared to get started i was scared of social disapproval i had questions of what if they don't like me what if i don't do it right what if i'm boring what if they judge me or they laugh at me what if i look too shiny on camera what if i don't sound intelligent enough that was a big one for me and a lot of people don't know this about me but i've always been afraid of public speaking again because of self-doubt and the fear of public disapproval but thankfully speaking so much on camera has definitely helped in that department so i'm not as scared as i used to be but it definitely took practice to get to where i am now i mean i've had all the thoughts that many of you are now having about starting a youtube channel or building a social media media presence or creating content or different things like that i've had i've experienced all of it because we're all human right i've wanted to start and took way too long to start you know and thought about and convinced myself of all the reasons not to start but the bigger question is what if i hadn't start how different would my life be today I mean, I probably would not have been afforded the opportunities that I've gotten because of social media and because of being on YouTube. And more importantly, I probably would not have been able to meet so many of you that have been so wonderful over the years. So looking back, I wish I had started sooner. I actually wish I had kicked those negative thoughts out <laughs> sooner. I wish I had believed in myself a whole lot sooner and get started and it's not just with youtube it's also with other business ventures and other ventures that i've undertaken at some point there was the fear of something going wrong even with doing the tiny host series that i showcased on my channel just a few months ago i've never done something like that before and i've never seen it done so it was very scary going into that i had all the doubts and also had some negative comments in when i was just starting because others didn't understand what my vision was but i could not allow that to stop me from trying and thankfully i did because it turned out to be as beautiful as it is and has been one of the best projects that i've undertaken to date and i'm so happy with it i'm happy i did it anyways despite or in spite of having those thoughts doubts and thoughts settling in so many different ways hell i mean i moved countries i moved to a whole new country and there, there's a whole thought process that went on with that like what if it doesn't work out what if i'm not able to assimilate into the country the way that i want to what if you know there's so many negative things there and so many negative thoughts and so the, the fear and the doubt and the, all of these that could have prevented me from taking on this beautiful journey that I've taken. The good thing is that in each of these situations, there came a point where I had to gather myself and to just take that step forward and to just get started. Because the truth is, we'll never know the outcome until we take the action. And you see, the thing is, the thing is that we get so caught up in not starting or not doing that thing that we say we want to do because of this and it stifles us. But when we do take that action, that's when things happen. And in most cases, things turn out exactly how we want it to or even better than we wanted it to. And in the cases where it doesn't turn out the way that we want it to, we use that as a lesson to better ourselves for the next time when we try and just understand that you know it's just a part of life so let's bring it back 
to YouTube now. I get a lot of questions from you guys about starting YouTube daily. A lot of people want to know how to do it. And a lot of people hold on to these many excuses of why they haven't started yet. You know, I want to do it, but I'm scared. I don't have the best camera. I don't have the best lighting. I don't have the editing softwares. I don't have the pretty setup and the background and the blue lights over there. And all, the, <laughs> all of this. I hear it all. I get it daily. I also get that I want to start a business, but I'm too scared to start. I want to do a podcast, but I'm afraid of how I sound. I want to do the videos, but I don't like how I look on camera and all the whole works. But here is what I want us to start doing. Whatever the thing is that you want to do, begin to dissect it into small bite-sized pieces. Break it down into manageable steps so that you can tackle it one at a time. One of the main reasons we get so overwhelmed and fearful is because we're trying to tackle everything all at once. Yes, we're multi-talented and multifaceted, but we still only have one brain. And while it can do many things at once, let's start with one at a time. <laughs> step by step and then we build on it so for those of you that are looking to start a youtube for example rather than looking at this as a holistic picture of wanting to start a youtube and then never get started because it becomes so overwhelming let's think about the different things that need to be done in order for it to get started so we know we need videos hmm what are we gonna use all right i have a phone not the greatest quality but They'll see me if I'm to shoot a video, so I'm gonna use that phone. Not gonna go and spend unnecessary money as it because no money is coming in yet, so we're using the phone. <laughs> How about the memory on the phone? Is it enough? Hmm. I have a lot of photos and I have a lot of apps on the phone that's taking up a lot of the space. So here's what I'm gonna do let me get a small memory card and transfer the photos over to that memory card so that I can free up some space on the phone itself. Or, since I'm going to be prioritizing the videos now, let me just delete those old photos and videos because those didn't make me any money anyways. So let me delete those and free up that space. Alright, so that's another check. The next thing now, audio. They're going to need to hear me. The phone comes with a built-in microphone. Alright, I think let's, let's work with that. Let's work with that for now until we can get an external microphone. I'll just make sure that I film an environment where people can hear me and do voiceovers for where they can't. All right? Check. All right, the next thing now, I need something to edit on. What am I going to use to edit? Don't have a computer. I have my phone. I'm filming on the phone. They hear me on the phone. All right? I can edit on the phone because they have free apps available that I can use. There's CapCut. There's InShot. There's iMovie. And there's so many more free apps. And key to note, I actually filmed most of my first set of videos on this channel on my iPhone. I filmed, edited, and posted from my iPhone. So I'm telling you all of this because I have done it and so can you all right so now that i have the apps that's a check the next thing now i need lighting can't afford to purchase lighting as yet but the sun is giving me free light every day so i'm going to position myself close to the window film at day as much as possible so that i can use the sun's light for the videos all right check so now we have all the equipment to get started now about the content let me write down 20 possible ideas and research them so that I can start with these and build on it as I go. If I come up with 5 and I'm unable to come up with the next 15 to make it 20, there are softwares out there like ChatGPT where you can literally type in what field or what area you're interested in and it will give you some ideas of videos that you can do. So now that I have the ideas and the equipment, now it's time to create the channel. Once the channel is created, then I'm going to sit down and film it. When I finish filming, I'm going to edit it on the phone and post it right from the phone and then repeat. So you see how that is? Rather than thinking of, oh, I need to start a YouTube channel and get so overwhelmed. If you just break it down into smaller pieces, you can tackle them one at a time. And sooner than you think, you'll be accomplishing the task or the goal that you set out to do. That's one of the things I want you guys to take from this. Like break down whatever it is that you want to do in small bite-sized pieces and tackle them one at a time. 
The next thing that I want us to start practicing is to start seeing ourselves achieving the end goal before we actually do it. Start to visualize it, start to manifest it, start to operate like we've already achieved it. Kick the fear of failure to the curb and focus on the win. Imagine how proud you'll be once you accomplish this. Start to imagine how you'll feel. Start to think about how much happier you'll be once you've accomplished what you set out to do. Start to get in that mindset and that mind frame of success. It's also helpful putting yourself in circles with other people who are either already successful or are working towards becoming successful and that will encourage you to keep going. The next thing I wanted to understand is that with trying anything new, failure is a possibility and you have to be okay with failing. Give yourself the permission to fail and don't beat yourself up when things don't go according to the plan. Instead, Use it as an opportunity to learn and to adjust your approach. A failure is a natural part of the learning process. It's something that happened and we have to stop being afraid of it and just do what we need to do and just understand that it will come. It may not come, but it's still a possibility. And it's important to understand that even if we don't achieve the desired income, we can still be proud of ourselves for trying. Just know that it's a part of the journey. There's this quote from Albert Einstein that says, if you've never failed, it means you've never tried anything new. And that couldn't be truer. It comes with the territory and it's how you get back up after failing. And the final tip for this video is that I want you guys to start taking action. At the end of the day, the only way to overcome the fear of getting started is to take the action. You're going to set a deadline, create the plan and just start. Don't wait for the perfect moment or for everything to be perfect because there'll never be that perfect moment. Whenever you start, it becomes easier with every try. You may find yourself saying, Mm, this isn't too bad or I'm so happy I start at the end of it but you won't know that until you've actually started and this could be for whatever you're doing in life whether it's for YouTube channel or a business or a new relationship or traveling or whatever it is you'll only get results when you start so this is your wake-up call to just start now I bring this video with the best of intentions I help you, you help me, we keep each other accountable. Don't let fear hold you back from achieving your goals and living the life that you deserve. I love you all and thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next week. Bye. Rushing in, rushing in, rushing in with the vlogging. Rushing in, rushing in, rushing in, a good thing thing. Like, share, comment, subscribe. subscribe. Watch every video member says she not hype. Like, share, comment, subscribe. subscribe. Watch every video member says she not hype. Hey, mm -hmm. it's Russian.